Estaba haciendo mi cabeza y no sabía. <risa> We're here today at La Paz to spend some time together and talk about a little bit about our culture, about our backgrounds. Here with my guys from the Latin America, in different parts of the countries. And uh, well, right here we're in South America, so let's start with. My name is Fabrizio Sarsar. I'm from Mendoza, Argentina. Uh, I'm a defender. I'm so happy to be here with you guys, so thank you. Hello guys, my name is Luis Garcia Sosa, midfielder for CFC, and just happy to be here with the guys and chatting with you guys. Uh, hello, my name is Andre Jimenez Aranzazu, I'm a midfielder, uh, I'm from Medellin, and I'm so happy to be here enjoying this time. JC Garzón, Juan Carlos Garzón, I'm from Colombia, Pasto Nariño, and I am one of the, the assistant coaches and I'm the director of goalkeeping. Uh, so we're going to have just a few questions for these guys and see how they respond for you guys. How was, how was your culture and heritage shape who you are today, both as a person, as a player? I, th I think like for me it's been like everything, that's the way I play, like it shows that where I'm from, because where, I've, where I'm from, from Colombia, we, we live soccer really, really much, so we try our best in every, in, every, in every game, in every training session, we try to give everything. So that's why I show my, like my, my passion like that. So like my culture is like for me, like everything. I show it every day. No, yeah, I think it's uh, kind of the same. I think we show every single day uh, the passion that we, at least me from Argentina, we have about football. Uh, we live, we eat, we breathe football. So that's all we do. That's all I know how to do. And I think as a person, um, my culture gave me the tools to come here to a new country, new language, a new a different culture, and over like overcome all the all the obstacles and all the bad things that had to happen, like that happened to me at the beginning, and now I can enjoy being here. In the Mexican culture, uh, we talk a lot about you know working hard and having a good work ethic. So now bringing it here to the United States and as a person and you know as a player as well I think that's you know taken me to many places and you know I'm here now because I think my culture and heritage helped me with that um, to always work hard in everything you do and you know give your best effort to the people around you and also to the players you're playing with so I think uh, it's, it's everything for sure. Yeah, and, uh, and just adding for that, it's just uh, the flavor that we put, you know, the flavor, the salsa, the, the salsita from, from Colombia, the, also the picante from Mexico, you know, Argentina, the passion. So we all, uh, especially the Latinos, is like a, is the religion. Soccer is a religion. Football is a religion for us. So we put everything, all the effort and everything, the passion, the hard work on the field. So I want just to add that to you guys. All right. How do you celebrate your heritage and share it with your teammates? You know, the way we celebrate our heritage and share it with teammates, you know, I think can come from many places, but for one that I can think of right now is maybe, you know, like sharing, you know, favorite food, like food from, from you know, where I come from. Uh, I love tacos, tacos de tripa. A lot of people don't know what tripa is. What is tri it? Tripa is like beef intestine. And for some people it sounds, you know, kind of crazy. But if you put some lime and salt on it, it, it tastes delicious, you know? And like Mexican candy, uh, a lot of it is like spicy. We even have, you know, here in Chattanooga, we have many, you know, local uh, Hispanic places that you can go to and get Mexican candy and everything. So I think, you know, the food aspect for sure is where I like sharing it with teammates. Uh, I think it's a, it's a fun time for sure. Yeah, I think uh, for me as well, the food, mate, uh, okay. that everyone knows about it now, and then music sometimes in the locker room. I think uh, those three can, uh, it shows to the people here where we come from and who we are, really. Of course, we have to adapt ourselves to the culture here in the US, but at the same time, bringing that picante that he said about our cultures to be, to have more fun, yeah. I also can, can add the, the coffee. I, I love coffee so much. I can't live without coffee. I have to drink it every day. Even it's a little bit different from, from here, from people from here, because I drink it before going to bed and I sleep really good. So that's something that I 
best that I get from my culture. Yeah. I need uh, a coffee. Yeah. <laughs> my, my grandma, when I was five years old, my breakfast was tinto, café negro. Yes. Mm. Black coffee with bread and cheese. The best. Before I go to school, before yeah. kindergarten, so you have first energy. school. That's how I grew up. Yeah. What are your goals for the future, both in soccer and beyond, um, that, uh, that has an inspiration by your heritage? I think like my like my goal as a soccer player is getting back to the first division for the first division team. And that's like a long term goal. And also like this year is getting something with the CFC. Like achieve something really important in this new league. That's like one of my goals that I can have here. And that your family will be so proud of you. Yeah, I'm, uh, my family will be the happiest family in the world. <laughs> Yeah, I think goals, uh, I have short goals, short-term goals, uh, which are now going to playoff and have a, a strong finishing of the season. I think that's the, the main goal now for us. But then you have, of course, medium and, and long-term goals in which uh, in the future, maybe as a player, go back to Argentina, play over there. And as a person, have a family and probably go back to Argentina, have a uh, my family, friends, girlfriend, that everyone is over there, and I'm, I'm here by myself. So I think those are the goals, but they are not clear yet. Yeah, I mean, I think same with these guys. You know, we're we're competitors, so we want to reach the highest level. Uh, but for me, I think you know, goal through soccer is just to impact the generation, the younger generation, and you know, one person that goes to a CFC game to come out there and want to come back, you know? I think it means a lot to us players when when a kid comes up to you and, you know, asks for a picture or says, hey, you're my favorite player. Um, just means a lot. So we're playing more than just just kicking a ball, you know? We're, we're playing to impact kids and, um, you know, just, what is it, when we were in Miami a couple of days ago, a kid came from Guatemala uh, he came by, we were practicing, he saw us practicing, and he came by and we just invited him to run with us, and it was amazing, you know, and then when the bus left, he was next to a tree, just his whole future going through his head, and he, it, you could just tell he wanted to be where we are now, and I think that's what soccer is about, you know, it, it's, it's more than just a game, for real. So, there's a lot of inspiration, inspiration helping others to achieve the goals that right now we're living because this is beautiful. Our job is just a dream come true for the majority of us. So we're very happy, we're blessed to be here and uh, having the impact with, with our, uh, our community as well, helping them how they can be better and how they can achieve this goal is a plus for us. Mm -hmm.